This is the all-new 2015 Honda Fit, the third generation of this popular subcompact car. You know what impresses me in the car business? It's not the super high-end luxury models, it's the small and subcompact cars like this Honda Fit. And I've been on record as saying that this is the best vehicle in the class when it comes to interior functionality and space. And Honda has taken all of those attributes and maxed them out for this new 2015 model. We're here in downtown Toronto to find out what's new for the 2015 Honda Fit. The base DX trim costs $14,495. Move up one step to the $17,295 LX trim, and Honda includes a huge 7-inch touch-sensitive display audio system and the oh-so-important heated front seats. There's also the $19,195 EX trim with alloy wheels, paddle shifters, and a moonroof. But the big news is the inclusion of the $21,295 EXL Navi trim. The car we have is the EX trim with leather and navigation, making the fit downright opulent. Well, the Honda Fit starts at $14,500 and it comes very nicely equipped. First of all, you get Bluetooth connectivity, which is a must-have. You get USB and auxiliary jack. You get a 5-inch screen in the dash for the radio that also has a backup camera on the base model. That's all good stuff. But what really is the best-selling feature of this car is not this seat, but all the other seats. And I'll show you what it does. Now the Honda Fit overall from front to back is a little bit shorter than the previous model but what they did was they stretched the wheelbase out by 30 millimeters and that makes a big difference on the inside. They claim it's got the most rear leg room of any car in its class and the most cargo capability. Now all of the Fits have always had this feature which is fantastic. You flip up the seat bottom and you lock it down and this is called the magic seat. And the reason you get so much space here and in the cargo space behind is because they've taken the gas tank and put it under the front seat. So this provides a big space for tall items. You can load luggage in here. I think it's a great spot for a dog. If you're a dog owner, it kind of keeps your dog in here kenneled. And then when you want to put them down, you just slide the seats down again. That's great stuff. But there's so much more this car can do. There is no other car on the subcompact or even the compact class that has the functionality and flexibility of the new Honda Fit. This 2015 has 79 millimeters of additional rear seat room, the largest cargo area, class-leading passenger volume, and more front shoulder room than its competitors. Now this Honda Fit is brand new from the wheels up, and when they went about making the body, they went to more high-strength tensile steel, so they saved weight inside the body. Then in the engine, they saved weight as well. It's 27% lighter than the previous engine. It's a brand new 1.5 liter with direct injection four-cylinder engine, and it puts out 130 horsepower. Now it's matched to either an all-new six-speed manual transmission, and the interesting thing is Honda Fit owners seem to like their manual transmissions because about 25 to 35 percent of all people that buy the fit get the manual and you can get it from the base all the way up to the full luxury model which is a nice feature to have but what's new and really helps with fuel economy is the new continuously variable transmission now this continuously variable transmission is 16 percent lighter than the old automatic transmission that it replaces and this continuously variable transmission like many others in the industry is getting so good now that you really can't tell you're driving something that is unique but if you want to have that more traditional automatic feel, you put the car into the S mode, you have the paddle shifters available, and it mimics seven virtual gears, which gives the car a little bit more spontaneous feel. In terms of drivability, this new 2015 Fit has better jump off the line and improved highway cruising. Because the new transmission reduces weight and friction, the fuel economy has improved by 16%, which is an amazing accomplishment in such a small car. Rated at 7 litres per 100 kilometres in the city and 5.7 litres on the highway, using the much tougher 2015 fuel standards represents fuel numbers the buyer will actually be able to achieve. In addition, the suspension has been improved for more responsiveness, but the downside is I found the ride a bit choppy over bumpy roads and there seems to be noticeable road noise.
So the Honda Fit starts at $14,500. The one you see here, fully loaded, is $22,500. And when you compare with some of the main rivals like the uh, Hyundai Accent and the Kia Rio, this might not be the winner on paper, but you have to look at the total package. First of all, new direct injection technology, 130 horsepower, the continuously variable transmission that's really helping to aid get best in class fuel economy, the wonderful interior that is so flexible and can do so many things for an entire family, plus great new exterior styling. And the Fit has the best resale in this class. So if you're in the market for a subcompact car, the smart money might just be on the Fit. Looking for a small car? All the reviews are available on our website at drivingtelevision.com.